Good cloud. All right. Well, hey, it's Monday night. It's our weekly Zoom call. I'm so excited you're here. And I'm excited for our speaker on Get Social, uh, our amazing Angie. But, be but before we get to that, um, I thought we'd start out with two victories. So business related, who would like to start? Say who you are and your victory, please. Anyone? Anyone? Business related victory besides you're on the call. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, anybody? My team is almost a gold team. I'll say that. That's a great victory. Yeah. Two thousand away from my from promoting. So that's Andy. cool. Yeah, first time ever gold leader, Yahoo. I hate to jinx it, so I wasn't gonna say it, but. Yeah, I know, I know, I totally <laughs> it. Okay, you guys, well, let's move on then. Um, I see what's in the chat. Oh, it's, okay. Um, last minute victory? It's so funny, everybody's like, Christy, you had two big expos, didn't you? Me? All right. Christy Anderson? Didn't you? It says Jordan's iPad. No, not yet. They're just oh. coming up. Okay. Maybe that's it. Okay. I saw your name and I thought, oh, that'll be a good one. I just yeah, no, they're coming up. Oh. Which one? The barn? I, don't know. I think it was a garden or something. Garden show. Oh, that was the farm show. It was all right. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Tried to get us with it. I love it. I will. I, I'll share with me. I'll share with you guys. I had two parties of uh, two Facebook parties in a week. I think I had four of them. One was 1400 and one was 1100. So I share that with you. This, I mean, my sales are almost, I think, I don't know. I think they're over 7,000 for the month. Um, mm -hmm. Angie, what are you at? Uh, like 43, maybe. I'm just kidding. So oh. <laughs> I'm like, not <laughs> what you are. I should, I should know what your sales are, but I didn't look. Um, so I just share that with you, not to toot my horn, but to share that it does work. As you all know, or you wouldn't be on the call. Okay, so <clears throat> let's get to some announcements. Um, it is the 22nd of March. Um, March 31st will be here before you know it. So watch your dashboard. Um, remember your paydays are dependent on, or your percentage, your commission is dependent on where you're at. So if you're at 1,000, you want to make 30%, get to 1,500. And what a better way with our spring break code. Did you guys all see that? That's really something to get excited about. So um, on a purchase of $75 or more, say 15%, so that's better than free shipping. And on an order of 100 or more, it's 20%. That is really awesome. And it runs till the 26th. So that's Monday through Friday. Um, you know, you as a consultant can use that. You just have to place that in the public website. Remember, there's no place for a code in my HQ. Um, if you put it in your name, it does not, you cannot tie it to a party. Um, but 20% off is 20% off. So how stinking cute is that? Uh, if you don't have an online party going on this week, I think someone talked about throwing together a mystery host online party and taking advantage. And not often do we have 20% or even 15%. So that's really exciting. Um, I'm just going to share with you now, just in case we run another time at the end, but our next two Zoom calls um, on the 29th is going to be Natalie with eFit, and she's going to talk about her eFit system and the five and 14 day reset. And then the following Monday is going to be Jackie Pitko, and she's going to talk about Instagram, how to use Instagram to promote your business. So that's exciting. So anyway, that's the next two times. So I next am going to introduce one of our lovely team members who has spoke to us a couple times. And before I say your name, I'm going to tell you she has been with Tastefully Simple for 15 years. Currently a silver leader knocking on the door <laughs> of gold. Um, she, um, her day job is a business and economics. I can't even say that, but cold. 
economics instructor at Northeast Community College. She resides in Creighton, Nebraska. Did I say she's been with us for 15 years? Um, before I say her name, her favorite part of Get Social is all the eye-catching photos and wide variety of types of pictures, as well as the ability to schedule posts. Please help me welcome our very own Angie Schaefer. Hey, hey guys. Hey. Weekend. <laughs> so who's already using Get Social? I'm just kind of curious. Quite a few, pretty much everybody. Well, I hope we don't bore you to death. Um, but I have a feeling probably some other people maybe will watch it um, that aren't using Get Social. So if you use it, you probably are pretty familiar with it and probably could be doing this training. But don't be afraid if you have some trips, tips and tricks to let me know because I'm constantly learning stuff about it too. So um, for those who are pretty new to Get Social, I put in the PDF in the chat. And then I also put it on our Facebook page. And so this is just a really great resource. I mean, it walks you through how to sign up and it has nice little pictures with arrows. It's exactly what I need when I sign up. So I am always sure to share this with my new team members um, so they can do this. But um, it sounds like everybody's kind of on it. So I will just kind of share it just so you can see it a little bit. Um, again, I hope my, my internet doesn't get too wonky on you. Are you guys seeing mine okay? Yep. All right. Great. Okay. So this is the, the um, PDF that shows how. So I'm not going to go through logging you in because I'm already in it. And so it won't let me. It doesn't show me what it looks like. But this thing, you guys, if you're not in it yet, it's super simple. So you did get free two months when you when it first came in. I'm not sure if you still can if you're an existing. But new consultants get two months free. And then after that, along with the website, um, when you get the web, when you pay for the website and the ability to take credit cards, you get, get social with it. And it is so worth it. It's, it's just really great. And the nice thing about it is, is TS adds a lot of the beautiful pictures that I was talking about. So to do it, just kind of follow along um, with that. You're going to click on get social and this thing is going to walk you through it. So I'm not really going to go over how to sign up. Like I said, I really can't show it on here, but this thing is just so, and it's so simple. It really really is simple. The biggest thing to keep in mind is that on Facebook, Get Social is called multi-brain. And that's one thing we always have to remember. It's not called Get Social and that I know has tripped up some of my consultants when they're signing up. So this is just super simple. Follow these steps. I know it looks a lot longer, but it's pretty easy to do. Okay. So the first time you do have to do that initial sign up, And then after that, you don't. And when you log in, it's just going to show you right there. But to get to Get Social, I'm going to now switch and I'm going to show you how to connect a Facebook group to it. So I'm going to change my share to my screen, my um, Chrome here. Okay. All right, you see in my Chrome now with my HQ in there? Yeah, okay. So what you're going to do is go to your gadgets to get to it. And then it's under market my business. So I don't know if you can see that right here. Market my business is where you get to it. And then you just click on the get social. So mine is already connected. For those of you who are new, when you click this get social, it will take you and kind of walk you through those first steps for signing up. There's also some great things where this Facebook group right here, you can connect with them and they, it's not a real active group, the get social group, but sometimes there's some good stuff on there. So if you're not already a member of that, I would suggest requesting to become part of that. And then there's a ton of training tools that are kind of nice. So they have some other stuff on here, but also right here is that PDF that I shared with you. So if you can't find it and you want to share it with team members, there's the PDF. But I'm going to go ahead then and just go into Get Social and I'm going to just kind of show you a little bit about it and then how to sign up or how to join a party and then some of the features that Get Social has. Okay. And I actually, I didn't need to click it because I already had it opened. Oh, well, we're in it now. Okay, so this is the main page when you get here. And I'm going to show you the settings because this is where you will actually sign in the very first time. So I'm up in the top right corner there, if you can see settings. And this one has some helpful tools in it that you might need to know. But under setting, I'm going to go to personal info. So there's two tabs here. One is connections and one is personal info. And this is where you can change any of your info. 
You do want to put in your cell phone here because a really nice feature is that you can have pictures sent directly to your cell phone and it comes via a text. And so it's really easy to share with people and then also upload into Facebook if you're on a mobile phone. So I would strongly suggest you do put in your, your cell phone number there so that they can do that. But there's your personal information if you ever need to change that. Connections is what you're going to use the most. And this is where your social network. So one of the great things about Get Social is it's not just Facebook. It's also Facebook and Pinterest and Twitter. Okay. And so here is where you would want to connect your new page. And you could click that. You can see what I already have connected here. I have my personal profile and then I have my page. So I have a tastefully simple independent page that is not very active. And then I added some parties in here in groups. And this is where you would connect them. Uh, you can use Twitter. I do not, I'm not a big Twitter user, nor are my population um, around here, but some people have great success with Twitter and you can actually connect yours there. I do use Pinterest and I strongly suggest we start getting better at Pinterest. You know, Pinterest is really about two things and it's kind of like recipes is big and fashion and obviously recipes and cooking is where we're at. So you can connect to your Pinterest account. I did not create a separate one. I know you can now, I think, but I haven't done that. So I would strongly suggest you connect your Pinterest there. And then unfortunately, Instagram is not supported by Get Social yet. Um, I imagine they're working on it probably fast and furious because it is so important. Instagram is very, very popular, especially with kind of tastefully simple target market. So hopefully this will come here soon. And then right here are the websites and you can pick which ones you want. Home, uh, these automatically populate for you. And what they do is they take your website and then this is just your general website. So I always think of this as like my shop here site. And then they have, if you wanna host the party, it takes you to the host and then the join us. This is the one I use mostly. Hashtag sets, I haven't used a whole lot just because hashtags I don't know, I probably should, but they, I don't use it to track. Hashtags are when you wanna track things and be able to like click a bunch of topics. And I haven't done that yet. But here's where you can add different websites. So I've thought about putting in my Linktree app or Linktree connection, and I might, I just haven't yet. I could add it right here and take it to my Linktree if I wanted to, okay? And this is all where you can disconnect and things too. But what I'm gonna show you next is how to connect a group so that it will show up here like my others. So you can see here, I have my page, and then here is my Tastefully Simple VIP group. I have my team page on here. I love to share Get Social on my team page. I, I share those almost more often than others. I'm gonna take this um, if I reload here, okay? And then these are my three current parties. And the reason I added them is because I did create a video that I wanna show on it. So now I'm just gonna show you here how to connect a party. Okay. Let's see here, I'm just gonna change this. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to stop my video. Okay. I'm gonna pause my share here and click on the right thing and resume my share. Okay, so what I did is I just created, are you seeing my a little Facebook group that says welcome to get social? Okay, so what I did is I just created a fake group um, to connect to, to show you how to connect. And it, you do it the same way you do your sense share if that is something um, that you want to do. So I just created this group. It's just a fake group for to show you how simple it is. One thing you do have to be on a laptop or a computer to connect to get social. You can't do this from the mobile. That's the only downside to it. I was going to try it on like my Safari using a web browser on my phone. I haven't tried that yet, but you do have to use a computer to connect. That's the only downside to it. Um, but anyway, what I'm going to do to do this is just go down to settings. So just like with SendShare, I'm going to click on my settings in the group. So I create the group and then I want to connect it to Multibrain to get social. So I click on the settings and then this is where I'm going to add that app. Okay. Sorry, this is kind of where it likes to get slow a little bit. Okay. So there's my activity log. I did not mean to click on that. Come on, settings. There, now I'm at settings. So I'm just gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and here is the apps. And you're gonna click on the little pencil right to the right of it. So just like you would if you were adding SenseShare. Okay, one other thing that Facebook likes to do and I've had like three or four people get caught by this is if you don't, I kind of have my picture zoomed out but if you're using a smaller screen, you won't see this bottom add apps right here. And that will throw people because they think it's not there. And you actually have to sometimes scroll down. So if you are only seeing this top part, 
or if someone on your team asks you a question about that, tell them to scroll down and it's add apps and they're always embarrassed afterwards, but I'm like, oh, trust me, you're not the only one. So we're gonna click that add apps and then we're gonna search for multi-brain, not get social, but multi-brain. And it should pull it right up. It looks like a little B here. You just click on it and then add it and it should be connected, okay? So it says add to this group. I'm gonna go ahead and add it. And then it is in that group as an app, okay? So now when I go back to my multi-brain, you're still seeing my multi-brain, right? Or are you on Facebook? Okay, good deal. Um, now when I go here, I might have to, sometimes you might have to click connect new group and it kind of refreshes it and then it will show it right here. I actually already had it connected. I forgot to disconnect it. But what you need to do is just one more step and you need to connect it from here. If you don't see it, click the little refresh button here, but I just find the one, I click connect and it will then load it right here. And here it is, get social is so easy. So now it's one that I can actually post. Any questions on connecting it? It's actually not too bad. And again, it's right on that PDF. It will walk you right through it. So don't be afraid to use that. So now that I'm connected, I'm just gonna show you a little bit about get social. And I'm actually gonna show you the stuff I don't use as much first. And then I'm gonna come back to the awesome content library because we're gonna probably spend the most time on that. So post creator, post creator is going to be when you are starting from a blank slate. Think about it like a blank sheet of paper. You can add whatever files you want. You can add your text here. It's just completely blank. I very seldom use this one because I like to use, Tastefully Simple has most of us done for it. So I'm always kind of like, why bother? But that's one, if you just, if you had your own picture, maybe you had a picture of yourself and you wanted to use get social for it, you could do that. The next one then is content calendar. And I really like this one because it shows me and reminds me what I have posted and what's gonna be showing up because I forget all the time. And so these shows Facebook or Pinterest. You can see I have some Pinterest stuff coming up. These are mostly for my parties or others. So that's what the calendar does is it shows you what you have planned and what was posted in the past, okay? And so you can just see the different months here and it shows you everything. And then you can also change it if you don't wanna see everything. But the other thing I like is that it gives you some of Tastely Simple's info on here. So like April 1st, that's when our mild Moroccan sauce goes on sale. So it kind of reminds you, oh, you should put your post for the mild Moroccan sauce on there, okay? Administrative professionals day, you know, start asking for that. And so it shows kind of some of those features there, okay? So then the next thing is the prospect center. So these two next two right here, are all analytics, okay? And so this is what, who is seeing your face, your, your get social posts. So this only works on a Facebook page, okay? So I am no longer really very active on my Facebook page. And so you can see, I don't have a lot. This will not work on groups, unfortunately. That's the one of the downsides to having moved to groups is the analytics aren't there. And Facebook does that on purpose because they want us to use a page and pay for it is essentially what's happening. So you can see here, some of this stuff is from way back when, um, but the nice thing is you can actually see when people post. So if you have a lot of posts, you can reply right from here and you don't have to go and find them in Facebook. Again, the bad thing is this is only works for actually the page. So you can see here, it's my independent consultant business page. Okay. So that is the prospect center and it, it does work great when you have people responding, but otherwise I don't use it much just because it's a page. Same thing with how am I doing? How am I doing shows how much you're active on your social media for Facebook page. Again, not the groups are on here. So it doesn't show you a lot of the good information because I'm doing most of mine on pages. It does show my different activity between um, you know, Facebook, Twitter, that kind of stuff. But again, it's only my pages. So it really doesn't show much, okay? Um, probably more than I thought. And in here, if you have different pages, you can show it. I don't, I only have that one. I made 23 posts in the last 30 days. That's a lot more than I thought. Um, and then it would be Twitter, but it, it has some great features. If you're using a page, I strongly suggest you look into this more, but since I don't, it doesn't apply as much. And then training, there's just some really good info out there, especially about the different social medias and stuff, if you want to go into that. Do we have any questions on the prospect center or how am I doing? Okay. The next one then, I'm going to click on the content library. So this is where I go 99% of the time when I log in to get social, I click on the orange, the content library, because this is where all the good stuff is. And just to kind of show you what's here, they have put it into great categories. 
The my content is stuff that I saved and I'll kind of show you some of it. So if I created like a slideshow video, it would save it to my content and it will save everything. New content, I checked that one quite a bit because that's where the new stuff comes out and I find out what's going on. I use the party and TS a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that one because what they've done is they've categorized it by the different themes. So here's like the taste of the tropics. I always check this out and use some of it. So some of it's specific to the taste of the tropics, some of it's not but they just have great pictures on here. So you can kind of see all the different ones there and just use that content library as some great things. So some other things I just want to kind of point out is I use this products one quite a bit. By far and large, what I do mostly is search. Um, the search tool I think is so much better, but it is kind of nice if you just want to, I don't know what I want. I just want to look for stuff. Um, I love like the team engagement. So that's one of the things I like about Get Social is it's not just about selling the products, but it's also about stuff you can use to help your team and to you know promote team. And it's got like group uh, posts that you can kind of congratulate team members on stuff. So I use this a lot actually for my team. Um, there's join and sponsoring. There's the cover photos for the Facebook cover. They're a little bit bigger. Um, and then there's all the videos. I find myself going to this one a lot, just Pinterest. And then this one here, the content maker, I was just gonna show you this one. These are all templates that you can customize. So these are kind of nice. I use these quite a bit. So here's one, like, how do you know our host? And they usually come up with a new one for each month and I can actually customize it. So I'm just gonna click the customize button. Actually, I'm gonna do a different one. I'm gonna scroll down here. I'm gonna do this one. Welcome to the host's name. So I'm gonna customize it. And then here you just essentially start typing and you can change it up. So we can add the pictures, but you just click on that and it should open up the text box. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna, sometimes that it doesn't work quite as well as that. So sometimes I end up just taking it all out. Um, welcome to Jane's party. Okay. And then I could do a few things with it. I can't really change a whole lot. Like you can't change the fonts and stuff, but I can make the font bigger, smaller. Um, one thing this doesn't usually fit real great on it, but I just kind of, I can do that, make those adjustments. And then what I do is I hit create and that will save it for you. And then you can download it. So there's different ones where you can add pictures. Um, there's fun ones. And what it does is it downloads it and you can then post it or post it from there. So there's things, a lot of them like for team. Okay, congratulations on selling all kinds of great stuff to help support your team on here. I don't know if the kind of freezing up. So all kinds of different stuff, but these are the editable ones. These you can edit. I love this one because it's the this and that template. This is new, I think. Um, I haven't noticed that one before and I looked for one. And so instead of using my PowerPoint that I've been doing, here's a this or that. So you could add, you know, the rock and raspberry or the or the peach teeny, whatever. These are really great to, to get people to, to uh, interact. So there's a this or that template. So kind of just mess around with them and use them. So that's what I kind of wanted to show you about the customizing. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually post one. Okay, so I'm just going to pick something. I'm going to go in here to the new content because we have our new promo code coming out. So I'll just click on that. Okay. And you can see here, here's a little fun thing. Hey, Tasteway Simple has a little contest going on. I love this little pineapple with that. But you just pick one you want to post. So I'm just going to select it and hit, I'm just going to hit the post button. Okay, so what it does is it pulls up. Here is all the different places where it can post it. And then here's some different things you have. Okay, so this will be the picture. And usually I just pick where I'm gonna put it. So I'm gonna put it in Angie's Tastefully Simple Facebook group. So it highlights it. One of the downsides to get social is you cannot pick more than one Facebook. It will tell you, don't do this. It can get you into jail, that kind of thing. That's kind of frustrating to me. You have to go back in and redo it. You can't offset them and things like that. But do know that you can't post it to more than one Facebook at a time. And that's actually a good thing. It keeps us, I guess, from going into jail. The other thing is you do have to have some kind of message in here. You can't just have the picture. So sometimes I'll just put like a smiley face or something. But often they will give you some posting tips if you just click on that. But they have changed it more now to tips where to say, hey, say this to your clients, okay? So a lot of times you don't wanna just copy and paste this because it's telling us what to post. But what a lot of times what I'll do is, is I'll copy some of it Okay, and paste it in here. And then I'll put, you know, instead of take there, I'll put like take your taste buds on a tour. Okay. And so you can adjust the words you want there. Okay. The other thing you can add hashtags. That's where remember we could have those in the settings set up, those separate hashtags. You can do that. 
What I always try to do is add a website link. So I usually will put shop here because one thing that, that Get Social does is it takes your website and it shrinks it into a small link. And it says it's a Get Social link. And so when people look at it, they don't realize that's the shopping link. And a lot of people are nervous to click on it. So what I've been always doing, because I had so many people reach out to me and say, but your link's not on there. But it was, but they didn't realize that's what it was. So I put shop here in a space. And then I come here to add a website link and I click home and there it pops it in. So when this actually posts, it'll say shop here, get, you know, bit.ly, whatever their link is. Okay. Um, and so you can post any of those there and then you can post it. The other thing is oftentimes, especially if it's a recipe, that product link will sometimes be a recipe or an info sheet. So I just kind of look at what it usually is. And this one, I don't think, I don't know if it even has one. And so I will use this for recipes a lot. Oh yeah, here it is. And it's an offer. So it just takes them to that front page where it says, here's get the deal. So you can always add that, okay? Then I come down here and I can either post it now or I can schedule it. And so post it now, we'll just immediately post it on that site or I can schedule it. And you just pick when you want it to go. And again, the time, I always pick kind of an off time because I don't know, somebody has once said that that will make it be seen more than the hour, hours and 15 minutes, I don't know. And I schedule it, it is now scheduled and ready to go, okay? I can then also save it to my content if I want. And then that way it's always in the content, okay? So that's basically how you post, super simple. And you can post videos from here, so many different things as you want, okay? Uh, the next thing I want to show you is kind of one of my favorite things, and that is posting a show. And so a show is basically a bunch of pictures, but they put it in so that it moves and it catches people's eyes. And I've, I've seen engagement for these really go up. So instead of having just a picture of like four different of our seasonings, you can create a slideshow. And as they're looking at it on their phone, it's moving through and it catches people's eyes quite a bit more. And the shows are actually easy to create. After this, I'm also gonna post a little video that shows you how to do it. But to, to do this, you just wanna post any of them, okay? Um, I'm gonna show you one more thing, or I'll, I'll just show you how to post it quick because we're running out of time. All right, let's see here. I gotta remember where I found this one. Oh, it was under special offers. Okay, so I happened to come across this cool veggie dip. Has anybody seen that one? I thought it was such a neat picture. And so you just click post. And then what you're going to click is right here. Oops, it didn't. Okay. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the picture. Sorry, that's what you got to do for making a show is you don't hit post. Instead, you click on the picture. Then it gives you the option to either post it, to create a show, which is what we want to do, to download it, okay, and that's where you can download it and then use it on sent share or whatever you want to do, or to text it to yourself if you want to send it through that. So a lot of times when I want to save a picture, I will just click on it and then you have to open it up. You can't just save it when it's in the small, you have to make it big. Then I do a right click on it and I save the image as whatever it could be. Okay, so this is if you want to use it. You can post it from Get Social, but if I want to put it in my since share, or I just want to post it onto that, I do a save as, and then you can call it whatever you want, okay? Dip and then save it where you want. I don't want to get too far into trying to, you know, tell you where to put stuff, but that's the first step of creating a show is you have to download the pictures you want to include in this, in the show, okay? But this one I'm going to use first. And so what I think I, I thought, you know, what I'll do is I'll, I'll create this pretty one. It'll be my first picture. And then I'm going to add some dips in there. So I'm going to click create a show. And it pulls this down here. So here's my first picture. And then I have to upload the pictures. Unfortunately, you can't grab them from Get Social, which I find very weird. That must be just something. So you have to upload it. So first you have to download them to your computer, save them on your computer. Then you got to add them to this slideshow. So I'm going to click. I know I'm saying upload, download a whole lot. But I'm going to click this button. And then it brings all, all the different stuff you have saved on your computer. Okay, And I should have had this one ready. All right, so just a second, you're gonna see how incredibly full my poor computer is. All right, gonna go down to my taste really simple. Oops, there we go. I save all my tastefully simple picks under product picks and video info. So 
So then I'm going to open this up and then you have to select the ones you want to add. So I want to do some dip ones. So I'm going to find uh, my spinach and herb. Actually, I'm just going to add these because they're quick. Here's our key lime cheese ball. We're going to make it weird, but that's all right. You can add up to 10 pictures is how many you can add. And I'm going to open them. Okay. And so uh, what it's doing now is it's uploading them into the slideshow. So these will be the different pictures and you can pick them up and move them around and drag them, whatever you'd like to do. And the fun thing here, it's got to do one more. Hold on. Sorry. It goes much quicker. I got some repeats in there. So I'd probably take, I think I might've hit it twice. I don't know. But you just pick the ones you want. And then right here is where you choose your transition. And this is where it could be kind of fun. I don't know if you guys can see these, but these are the different ways the video can transfer, can make a transition from pictures. I always like the box one, I think that's kind of fun. So you can just pick it. And then what it's gonna do is, and then post as video. So it takes a little while, but it makes your video and it saves it. Now it's actually a video that's gonna post and it should show it here. Okay, so I did one with like the key lime. I did one with the sauces. I did one with seasonings. I used this when we had like the 12 days of Christmas. And then what I do is I save it to my content and that way I can post it and it actually posts as a video. And so this is fun. This is something that I really love using and I can post a tutorial on how I did it. But here's my video that we just made in like seconds. See how it pulls it up? I don't know if it's working okay for you guys. Isn't that simple? That's Crazy cool. simple, right? Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah. All right. Um, and then one more thing I'll show you, and then we can go to questions, and I know it's almost time. So um, the other thing I just want to show you is under content library here. This is where then once you post it, it'll say, do you want to save it? And this is where I save those pictures. So those videos, I often will do those and show them at my parties. I keep them in here and then I can just repost them from this site. You can't just add pictures. That's the only down thing. So I made this one tonight just to show you guys. I put so dip-licious, which dips would you use for this beautiful veggie tray? And then I added the different veggies so you can actually see the real one that I made beforehand. And then I just post it. So I added like the main dips like spinach and herb, bacon, bacon, or Asian garlic, and that's it. And I can now post it to any of my parties that I have connected. I can post it to cool cats, whatever I want to do, just the same as I normally would. But I always save it when it says, do you wish to save the content? I hit yes. And that's where you find it is under content library, my content. So the one thing I think a lot of you guys knew, because I thought this was new, and apparently this has been here a really long time, but you can set up your whole week according to what they have. I don't only use this because a lot of times they really do focus on just selling the product, but I tend to add stuff. So you can see here, the first one is for Tuesday. It was our good old, I should have not done it because now you can see it, our good old chocolate chai. So what I do is I click the posting tips. And these on the week, usually they'll have it ready to go. So you can just copy and paste this, okay? And then you can change it up a little bit. And then I always add my website. And then here, notice I'll put, I put recipe. And then over here, then I clicked add a product link. So let them know that this is the recipe. Otherwise, it just looks weird, okay? So I always put that. And you can post the entire week as you go. And you can tell it where to be posted at. So it's a great way to just take some time and set that up. Okay. Oh, here, I'll do the next one. They got the new Monday one loaded. I don't even know what it is, just to kind of show you how to do it. So here's the next Monday, and it's our CC cilantro. Okay, so I'm going to click posting tips because if they have it done, I'm usually just going to copy and paste it. And then a lot of times I will try and add some interaction to it. I'm going to come down here and then I'm going to type recipe, or I don't think it's a recipe, but it's probably the product link. Here it is. It's just going to show that, but that's all right. And then I'm going to usually do the shop here so that they know if they want to get access to it. And then I go to my website and add it to the home. And then I schedule it. You just, and you can tell it what time you can decide by if it's one where it's just kind of more info, I usually don't care. But if it's one where I want them to interact, I usually will do it in the evening more. Um, 5.33, that's not really a great time because that's when everybody's coming home and not on the internet, but you can change that and then just hit schedule and it pops it in there for you. Oh, you got to select. And it'll tell you when you forget some. You got to tell it where to go to. And there it will schedule it. All right, Sherry, what did I skip? Oh, Angie, fantastic. Let's see if anybody has any questions for Angie. 
<clears throat> Rebecca? Okay, so I am, I was after conference or leadership, I was on Debbie Kimball's group and I still am. So I see things there and they must have had this training with Stone. I never did watch the recording. Um, and she came back on there and said, well, I was thinking about having SynShare, but not anymore after I, this training. Angie, would you still say that SynShare is yeah. better for planning your posts than get social. I mean, you taught me a lot of things. I didn't know about get social, but I still don't see where you could duplicate you can't your batch post. You can't batch post from get social. If get social had the ability to batch post, I would in a second probably switch to just get social because then it'd be free. But until we can batch post, and by that, I mean, post your entire day one with one click because um, you have to individually do it. And then you have, to, it's just like Facebook really. Nope. Well, yeah, you have to re Facebook. you have to recreate the slide every time. It doesn't save. You can save it to your content. You can save all your posts. Yeah, but you got to go in though and redo it each time. You can't like click each party and and you have to yeah. individually do each one. So it still takes a lot of time. I was like, uh, I don't agree with that. Yeah. What <laughs> I, I do is I even... use get. Yeah, I use get social for the pictures. Add them to my sent share is what I do. Yeah, that's what I do. But... Yeah. But I do like the shows. I, I've been creating those for sauces and seasonings and then desserts. And people like that. So I have been doing those. That's about it. But the pictures I use. So I'm used to get social a lot. But no, I, I got to use some share first still. Good question. That's a great question, Rebecca. Because I was kind of thinking the same. Yeah. And get I social likes to get the ability to bash post. And once they do, save us a lot of money. You know, not a lot, but some. But Angie, when you batch post, you're not batch posting like four parties at once. You're batch posting one yeah. party and then you go back and I pick a different yeah. one. Yeah, I, so I do one and then I do it at like 9 a.m. Then the next one I start at 9.15. Yeah, that's what I do too. Yeah, it's one click for the whole day versus yeah. here you'd have to click. You have to post each post, each individual at 9 a.m., 10 a.m. Just like you would through On Facebook. Facebook. Yep, mm -hmm. agree. agree. Yeah, it, it would at least be saved, but it, it would still be a lot of work. Yeah. Yep. But it is a place to start if you haven't done any of it. Yeah, well, and if you only have one party on, it, it might be a great way to go. It keeps everything there for you. Right, right, but yeah. Yeah. Anybody else have any questions for Angie or a question? I do. I think you might have said this, Angie, so sorry if I missed it. But um, will you be putting, like, step-by-step -step, um, docs on our page for how to do some of those? Like, I missed how, to, how you added your website link. I'd love to do that. Because I always well, we should automatically, Bree, it should automatically have loaded that for you. Did it not load it on your? Um, I'll double check it next yeah. time I use it. So go to your settings and then go to personal info. Or it's either personal info or connected, and it should already load it for you. But okay. if not, I can certainly show you. But there's this little button that says add website. But I think okay. it preloads that for you. But it's called home, it's not called shop here. Right. So I could make my own that says shop here, but yeah, yeah okay. I still got to type it in. Yeah, good okay. question. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody else? You have the website. You got it. It's you're paying for it, so use it. It's absolutely. The mm -hmm. images are just gorgeous. They do such a good job. Such a good job. I agree. Yeah, Anybody else have awesome. anything to add? That I mean, Angie did a, an amazing job covering it. But is there anything else? All right. Well, Angie, once again, you did a fabulous job inspiring and sharing. And <laughs> like Angie said, if you're not using it and you're paying for it, get on there and mm -hmm. um, make it happen. Yeah. And I'll share a little, I mean, it's just a quick video of me doing that um, shows again. I just did it for my team. It's yeah. Video, but I'll share that YouTube video. How long have they had that, Angie? Um, I started using it a couple months ago, so not a whole long time, but yeah. This is pretty nice. Makes you look really smart. Yeah. Well, and I used to do it through PowerPoint and then, and it just never looked good. And this thing is so simple. The bad thing is you got to download the pictures. If you could just click and drag them from get social, that'd be better. And yeah. eventually it will. I'm sure it will. So it takes yeah. a little bit longer, but still awesome. Yeah. yeah. Andrew, you mean to make the show? Yeah. Yep. You don't have to download them. You don't. I, no, I don't download them. So I you just hold the first picture, click on it do the create show okay at the bottom you get a little um yeah it's the little create little show button thing. but all i do is <clears throat> 
once I have my first picture, I go and search for my second picture. Okay. And then when that one comes up, I can't remember without doing it if I have to click on it or if it's just appears, but it says like, it gives you the option to add to show. Oh, see, so you don't have to. Oh, that'll be so much better. Thank you for sharing that. Yep. Ooh, it's nice. something hard to do. I should know that it, they figured it out better. <laughs> yeah. So you don't have to then just try clicking on it. Yeah. Awesome. That's crazy. That's awesome. I love it. We learned yeah. each other. Those shows are fun. Once you make one, man, you do so many because they're kind of cool. I'm addicted. It's really uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to stop the recording.